It's the time for these birds to go south. It's the time. It's the time, it's the time, the time. It's the time for sunrise. I hope everybody can hear me now. We're starting over late because you all didn't have sound. Maybe it was a, a slip of my thumb when I was turning the settings around from selfie mode to camera out towards the sunrise. I might have accidentally touched the the um, button for the sound. That's the most reasonable explanation I can find for the mishap on the sound delivery this morning for you. Do you guys know why churches have traditionally, from ancient times, been facing to the east? It actually has to do with what we're seeing here. Sunrise. And nature's clocks are important also for our faith life. They're part of human wake-up call. Wake-up call. Wake-up call. Wake up. Watch. Get up. It's time for school. Hey, watch over that side of the field. The coach shouts to the players. They're attacking over there. The general shouts to the army. Watch. Wake up. Watch that business move of your competition. You're going to lose your market share. Watch, be on the watch. Watch the stock market. Watch, 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 watch. I think it's three times in today's gospel, Jesus says, watch. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> it's sunrise time. The sun is rising, coming from the east. The golden gates and the temple in Jerusalem coming in from the east. And so we're entering a new year, liturgically. There's financial years, there's school years, there's your birthday year. When you're another year old and you're starting a new year of life, and we have a liturgical year. And that pivots Really around Easter is the center of the liturgical year, but we start off with the birth of Jesus, and before that there's a preparatory time of Advent, and there's where we are today. And we're actually in cycle B. There are three cycles for the Sundays, and then there's another organization for the weekdays we don't need to do now. So, here we are. At the beginning of Advent, and I would say the, from our childhood, Advent is, I can't wait for Christmas and Christmas presents and nice Christmas foods. So our focus on Advent is a little bit out of sync with today's first reading, which is focusing on a different coming. Because actually, we Christians are not focused on the past. We remember the past. But we're focused on the future, on the second coming of Christ, so-called because in between he's also coming every moment in the tear of the child, in the loneliness of an elderly person of whom I'm aware. In the mood change of a spouse, in the bereavement of a coworker at work, somebody is morning I need to be close to them supportive so we have the historical coming in Bethlehem 2000 years ago on the birth and then we have the second coming and then we have the coming every moment watch 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 there he is and Jesus said when people start telling you there he is and there he don't, don't pay attention don't believe them they don't know they're trying to tell you the second coming is happening tomorrow well, take it easy. Don't take it easy in the sense of relax and don't care. Be in that great expectation, in that great expectation of the final coming. Because that's telling us that our situation here, as beautiful as it is at the Sea of Galilee, 
such a serene morning this morning on the water. As beautiful as it is here in Magdala, all of this is passing. All of this is passing. All of this is passing. Your beautiful garden, well, you have to dig it up again in the spring and resaw it. The wonderful business you started that's flourishing, one day it will be an older business and will need a lot of revamping and redoing. Our kingdoms are passing. The beautiful moments parents cherish of little children and moments of birthdays and different things, they're passing, they're gone, they're gone so quickly. Where did the childhood go? High school is finished, the last child is out of the house. The grandchildren are already there, now the grandchildren are already graduating. Where did my life go? The speed of change. And yet we have this very concrete, solid anchor. My whole life is, is awaiting the coming, the final coming, the glorious coming. You have those wonderful strings on a violin or a cello or a guitar and they don't have, they're not just floppy there. They're tense, but they're not extra tense because they would break. They're tense to the right measure. And that's what our soul should be, tense to the right measure. To give that music each time the chords are plucked, are touched, are caressed by the bow of the violin or the cello. Those wonderful notes reply to that touch. The thought that really fascinates me is Isaiah's text today. You heavens, rend the heavens, rend the heavens, tear them open and come down. Imagine, you know, God was so transcendent, the wonderful culture of monotheism that became free of the, the, uh, isn't that wonderful, two boys, two brothers, setting up their little paddleboard and dad's getting ready to go and swim. moments that also are fleeting, as much as there's wonderful enjoyment in that day, in that experience. Watch therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming. This is an apocalyptic text. The last discourse of Jesus before the Passion in all the synoptics is the apocalyptic discourse. Here we're in Mark. And it's funny, you wouldn't associate apocalyptic times with the birth of a little baby in Bethlehem. And so that's why we have these two comings that are articulated in this way. So maybe that's enough for today. Sorry about the problem with the sound at the beginning. Thank you all for alerting me. I'm grateful for those who made that big effort to make sure I, I discovered that I wasn't being heard. Maybe those who are listening, <laughs> I'm sure God is aware that we're not listening to him that we're not hearing him. He's trying to get our attention. And that's why we have all the, the dynamics of life. Wake up calls for God to give us his attention.
people let's leave it like that god bless you have a blessed advent see you later alligators may the heavens be rent open and god come and help our world in all its need at this time of history <laughs>